Hi everyone, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of the cycle and from the figure we observe a semicircle and a triangle which has sides of length 6 units and 10 units. We have here a right angle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of the cycle? It is very simple. Formula for calculating the area of a cycle is pi r squared. Pi is a constant and r is the radius of the cycle. But here we have a cycle and a semicycle. Each will have its own radius. So we let radius of cycle be a and that of semicycle be b. So therefore, area of cycle equal to pi a squared. Let's take a look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle and we have the length of two of its sides to be six units and 10 units. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this side. Let's say x. The Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So by Pythagoras, 10 squared equal to 6 squared plus x squared. 10 squared is 100. 6 squared is 36. So 100 equal to 36 plus x squared. Bring 36 to the left. 100 minus 36 is 64. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here square root of 64 is 8. While here square root of x squared is x. So x equal to 8. That is the length of this side is 8 unit. Now come here, this semicycle, draw out its complete cycle. We now have a large cycle and a smaller one. They both touch at this point. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that if two cycles touch at a point internally or externally, their point of contact lies on the straight line that connects their centers. We draw it out since it starts from the center of the large circle and ends on the circumference. It is a radius of the large circle, which is B. Here we see this line touch the circle at this point. That makes it a tangent of the circle. It intersects the radius at the point of contact. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. That is, this tangent is perpendicular to this radius. So this is a right angle. Here too, we see this line touch the cycle at this point. That makes it equally a tangent to the cycle. So we draw out the radius from the point of contact. The angle formed will be a right angle. Now look at this quadrilateral. We have three of its angles to be right angles. Definitely the fourth one is also a right angle. The two types of quadrilateral which have all four of its angles to be right are the rectangle and the square. But here we see this side and this are equal adjacent sides. It is impossible for a rectangle. Therefore, the quadrilateral is a square. All the sides of a square are congruent. So since this is B, this must also be B. We take a look at this side PQ. It is 6 units in length. And we have this part of it to be B. Therefore, this must be 6 minus B. Same is for this side QR. 
The length of the side is 8 unit, but this part of it is P. Therefore, this must be 8 minus P. Come here, assume the size of this angle to be H. If you look, this side QR is perpendicular to this side, and this line also perpendicular to the same side. That makes the two lines parallel. So since this side makes an angle H with this side, the angle between this and this must also be H. Look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle and has an angle H. Same is for this. It is also a right angle triangle and it has an angle H. That makes the two triangles similar. So if we take the ratio of their side, this side facing angle H divided by this side also facing angle H must be equal to this side divided by this. So 6 minus P over P equal to B over 8 minus P. We cross multiply. 6 minus P times 8 minus P is 6 times 8 minus P minus P times 8 minus P. 6 times 8 minus P is 48 minus 6P and minus B times 8 minus P is minus 8P plus P squared. Minus 6P minus 8P is minus 14B. Here B times P is P squared. It will eliminate this P squared on the left. Take this 48 to the right hand side of the equation. This negative sign will cancel this negative sign. We divide through by 14. Here, 14 cancels 14. Well, here, since 48 is 24 times 2, and 14 is 7 times 2, this 2 cancels this 2. So, B equal to 24 over 7. Come back here. This is the radius of the small cycle A, but this line its length is P, so therefore this part must be P minus A. Here we see this line PR is a tangent to the small cycle at this point. So if we draw at the radius, it will be a triangle angle with the tangent. Come here, this angle H, this right angle and this angle lie on the same straight line we know the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees so since this is h and this is 90 degrees this must be 180 degrees minus h minus 90 degrees 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is 90 so it is 90 degrees minus h look at this triangle since this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees minus h based on the rule that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus into 90 degrees minus h minus into 90 degrees minus h is minus 90 degrees plus h 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 90 degrees is 0 so the angle is h if we look at this triangle, it is a right angle triangle and it has an angle H. Same is for this triangle. It is also a right angle triangle and it has an angle H. That makes them similar. So if we take the ratio of their side, this side divided by this must be equal to this side divided by this. So A over B minus A equal to 8 over 10. Cross multiply. So 10A equal to 8 times B minus A. 8 times B minus A is 8B minus 8A. Take negative left. 10A plus 8A is 18A. So 18A equal to 8B. Recall. B is 24 over 7. So 18A equal to 8 times 24 over 7. 24 is 6 times 4. 
and this 18 is 6 times 3. This 6 eliminate this 6. 8 times 4 is 32. Multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 3. Here, 3a times 1 over 3 is a. While he 32 over 7 times 1 over 3 is 32 over 21. So a equal to 32 over 21. Substitute it here. 32 over 21 all squared is 1024 all over 441. So area of cycle equal to 1024 pi over 441 square unit. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And also turn on notifications. Thank you.